Uh, Jim Adams is the first one. Okay. Um, I'll probably yield most of my time as a lot of these remarks have already been said earlier tonight. Uh, uh, growing up, I was a and uh, a recent transplant, uh, this area is pretty much defined by me, but I grew up on the sea coast. I'm a family in the North Shore area, uh, down the mountain a little bit, now up here. Pretty much a key is a tsunami, so how this area would pop with us. As I'll say, I'm kind of like, a bigger picture is, you know, this area has um, a dearth of really young professionals, and you know, to support that, support family-oriented events, we really need the event to stay in your team. Because, uh, you know, people look at the you know, enrollment just in the last 10 years here in Keene, with a 20% decline, so entry, middle, high school, families aren't staying here. And then, uh, the flat population numbers would be everywhere. Employers moving out skilled and unskilled jobs will be in the area. And that's a part of that is the community and for all the problems I mentioned earlier, all the reasons why we need to have to stay here. For better for us, for those who I can understand the uh, why we have uh, the frame of mind to uh, reject the event as I don't want, I don't want, that, want that. I would not want that outside of my home. But in terms of the broader economic implications for the event and uh, the culture of the community we really need to That's all. Thank you. Jessica White, would you please work your way up? And now, Beth. My name is Beth Truman. I'm a resident of Keene and the mother of three children in the Keene school system. I was born here. My children were actually born in the same hospital that I was. I'm a lifelong resident of Keene. Um, I have been a volunteer in the Manadoc region for many years, working with local nonprofits, including Keene Elm City Rotary, Manadoc United Way, Keene Ice, MoCo, Cedarcrest, and the Cheshire Medical Center's Public Health Department the Keene Public Library, and others. I have also in the past been a very vocal supporter of the Keene Pumpkin, Pumpkin Festival and have volunteered during the festival and during auxiliary events related to the festival. I do understand very well the role that Pumpkin Festival plays to local nonprofits. The loss of the festival will not have a profound effect on the local nonprofits' annual budgets, in my personal opinion. I'd like to express my sincere gratitude for the Let It Shine board members and the events that they have put on in the past. Their hard work and dedication to this communi community is inspiring. This year's festival did, in fact, happen with little incident inside the festival itself. However, the events that happened outside the festival were nothing short of terrifying, destructive, and chaotic. Although the people who put on the festival are not responsible for the King Pumpkin Riots, as they have been dubbed by media sources, they are nonetheless an unfortunate and directly related cancer on the face of the festival. To move the festival to another location, in my opinion, would not deter these events, parties, and destructive behaviors from happening. They are next to really linked by a simple virtue of having a set date, thanks to the wonders of social media and informal electro electronic news outlets. The events that have grown over the past few years in the form of parties that turned destructive and chaotic did, no matter how we'd like to spin it, turned into rioting during the 2014 Pumpkin Festival. These riots brought in law enforcement and emergency support that has a hefty price tag, as well as undermining the safety of the citizens within the festival itself. The second that even one life is in danger, we have a responsibility to do everything in our power to prevent that from happening. It is simply the right thing to do. Our firefighters, EMTs, and police force were put in harm's way due to the cancerous growth of the Pumpkin Festival and these were the officials from other towns as well. It is a shame that these events have ruined what was meant to be a beautiful community event. Yes, this is of course true. But does that mean it is responsible to dig in our heels and continue to put it on while ignoring the very real possibility that next year's damage could be worse? Absolutely not. What if there had been deaths during this festival? Would we even be here? What if there are next year and we have the power right now to try and stop that from happening? The director of Let It Shine is quoted as saying, if we cannot put on a safe pumpkin festival, we will not put one on. It is for these reasons that I do not wish to see the pumpkin festival continue. It is time for it to end permanently. A hiatus will not stop destructive cancers from forming in the future as any marketing opportunity that we see now as a positive for the community, such as pumpkin festival is back, is the same marketing angle for detractors and partiers to use to attract people to their events. We need to send a powerful message that we will not tolerate these kinds of behaviors and we need to end the pumpkin festival now. I respectfully thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.